should pay for this pandemic when the bill finally arrives? And be clear, that bill is coming. Let's speak to one of the country's most successful entrepreneurs, a very good friend of this programme. John Cordwell is a business leader, philanthropist and founder of Phones For You. John, welcome back to the show. Yes, thank you, Mark. Pleasure to be back. We're going to be discussing Jeff Bezos later in the show, who is standing down as CEO of Amazon. He's the richest man in the world. Um, someone like that would be a good candidate to foot the bill, don't you think? <laughs> well, I, I think all all extremely wealthy people, especially people that have benefited out of pandemic, uh, ought to have an extra contribution to society. If you look at, you know, this is a very delicate subject, of course, because I don't ever want Britain to be seen as anti-capitalist, anti-wealth creation. But the simple fact is that there are online businesses out there that have prospered massively out of this pandemic. And at the same time, there's other businesses that have suffered dramatically. And I think the government could be quite smart about a one-off tax that would just tax the incremental excess profits that they've made out of the pandemic, which wouldn't damage them at all hardly because their share price would still be intact. The value of the business would be intact. The future would be intact. It would just be a short term tax on their windfall profits. And if, uh, if that was done across the piece, that would definitely contribute. Um, so. Uh, It'll never solve the problem because tax cannot solve this problem. The only thing that can solve this problem is an increased uh, government balance sheet of borrowing and that money invested in Cold War pandemic recovery. And that's the way we get out of this by growing GDP, growing wealth, growing success and enabling us if we need to pay the debt back in the future. And I'm, I'm questioning that because I'm not certain we will need to. But if we need to, we pay the debt back out of success, not struggle along with austerity for the next 10, 20 years. How, however, do the Treasury decide which companies have had a good pandemic and which haven't, John? It would be unprecedented uh, to pick on not even specific industries, but just individual businesses that have shown a good balance sheet in the last 10 months. Uh, that would be unprecedented. And probably subject to significant human error and political interference. Uh, it's a good challenge, that is, Mark. And you're absolutely right that it would have to be done very smartly and cleverly. But of course, the first thing that you've got is their stated accounts. So you've got the accounts for 2019 and the accounts for 2020. Uh, that doesn't tell the full story. So, you know, it would have to be looked at very sensitively and very sensibly uh, in, in order to come up with a method of taxation that is fair and proper and that doesn't damage the business and leaves the business with its full value intact. Don't, don't, don't we have it already, defense. though, John? Don't we have corporation tax? Um, the, the exchequer looks at the turnover and profit of businesses. And if they've had a great year, they will be taxed. Yes, but the, the tax uh, is very low. And so it should be because we need to incentivise entrepreneurship and incentivise people to set up on British shores. So we do need low corporation tax, but that is another reason why everybody needs to pay their tax, which is another part of my, uh, of, of my uh, de desires for, for all businesses that they do pay tax. And we know, for instance, just coming back to Amazon, it's a shame to keep picking on Jeff Bezos, but he is very wealthy. So he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's got a thick skin. He can live with it. Got, he, he, I think he's got a lot of money to defend his skin. But, um, you know, he, he he has managed with Amazon to get away with paying very little tax in most countries and very little worldwide. So he would be an ideal candidate to start at least by paying the basic rate of tax. Um, and, and, you know, another thing about this that um, I, th I think especially because of the pandemic, but I felt this way very strongly before the pandemic, that wealthy, really, truly wealthy people should join the giving pledge and give at least 50 percent of their wealth away. You know, 50 percent, I, I up mine to 70 percent because I, I just looked at what was left after 50 percent. I thought, well, I don't really need that 50 percent to pass on to my descendants. So let's make it 70 percent. And I may well increase that again in the future. Do you know, 
if Jeff Bezos <laughs> it's back to that name again, sorry Jeff, but if Jeff Bezos decided to give the, go for the giving pledge and give 99% of his wealth away uh, during or after his lifetime, he would be an absolute hero, but he would also still be twice as wealthy as I am before the giving pledge and four times as wealthy as I am after the giving pledge. And does anybody need tens of billions, hundreds of billions? Does anybody really need a billion? I mean, you know, I've got to be careful that I don't sound that anti-capitalist, because I'm not. I want everybody incentivized to make the most amount of money, create the most amount of jobs and the most amount of success for Britain. But we do have to have a fair society. We cannot have the rich gap, the rich poor gap, yeah. carrying on growing and poor people decimated. You know, we've got these 3.8 million excluded or forgotten who are in devastating dire consequences. And a lot of their trade, in, in many cases, has gone to the online businesses. So I do think this is a situation where everybody has to join in to, to bail out the huge humanitarian problems that we've got building up day by day. We're all in this together, aren't we, John? And someone should tell the billionaires, by the way, props to you for your amazing generosity, because I introduced you as a business leader, founder of Phones for You, but you are as well one of the most uh, generous philanthropists in the country. And that's uh, just a, a wonderful, a wonderful uh, thing that you could be very proud of. And that will be a legacy that continues for many years.